awesome. So nice. I understand you have a second cocktail that's super exciting. Really? This one actually yes. is super exciting. This is Can't this is wait. a drink for you guys. Let's do it. Let's make it. So awesome. so um when So one uh, thing you told me to buy was uh crushed red pepper and I'm really kind of oh, curious right. of why we bought crushed red pepper. Okay. So uh, for everybody that doesn't know, when you come on to the Daily Cocktail, we always do a signature drink. But uh, when I was coming on to the show for with, um, with, with the guys, I was like, we, we, gotta still, we still have to make them a drink. There isn't a stream where the Daily Cocktail will go and we don't make a, a cocktail for them. So uh, asking Richie about what we want to do, he was like, well, how about something with tequila? Uh, it's, you know, something for the ladies and we'll do like a Paloma or something. And I'm like, that would, that, that was a great idea. So Richie props to you for the recommendation. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a riff on a Paloma. So basically what that means is we're going to take the basic recipe for a Paloma, but we're going to modify it and make it our own and make it something unique that, um, that anybody can do, but also that's, you, you wouldn't Google this and find this exact recipe. And that's, that's the fun part about this. So you get to play with everything. We get to have some fun and, um, and yeah, so, so let's do it. So let's start with the tequila and the crushed red pepper. So the reason why I told you to bring crushed red pepper is because we're gonna make the tequila spicy by just adding a bit of crushed red pepper into it. So let's take your tequila, whatever you got. And, I'll, and if you have a glass, what I want you to do is I want you to do two ounces of your tequila. As far as, far as two ounces, I have a regular size shot glass. Is that a one and a half? Or like what two, is? Right? So that's, that's one ounce. So one shot glass that's is one ounce. ounce. So you're going to use so make two, two shot glass holes. Okay. So and, you, can use, you know, you guys can make this at home too. So Yes. So if you're making this at home, two shot glasses worth. I, add, I always add a little extra for myself there. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of crushed red peppers, uh, red pepper flakes into, into the tequila and we're going to let it sit there. Okay. We'll so what, like two, sh two shakes, maybe two, three shakes, depending on how spicy you want it. Okay. Done. So basically what you're doing is you're infusing the tequila with the spice. Um, the same thing if you wanted to do, like I, I've made... When DJ Flips was on, we made him a hibiscus flavored tequila drink. And I just took a, a tea bag and um, I let it sit in the tequila and the tea would absorb into the tequila. And Pueblo Soul is 100% right. So we're not going to talk yep. too long because okay. um, the longer you leave it in there, the spicier it will get. And you don't want it to overpower the cocktail. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to take, going to bring out one more tool that I have. Um, you don't have to use this, but I have one of these. I, I, I actually bought a uh, juicer. Yes! Nice. Yeah, you and I got the same thing. There we go. Amazon overnight. Fuck yes. All right. <laughs> so what we want to do in our shaker now, we're going to add the other ingredients. So we're going to do the non-alcoholic ingredients first because you never know. Also, if you knock your drink over, that's always the pro tip. You don't want to knock okay. the drink over and spill all the booze. Always non-alcoholic okay. ingredients first. There goes the line. <laughs> all right. All right so so what's, gonna... going, what's going into the, to the so, mixer now? All right. So first, lime? in your shaker, you want to add one line. So the, uh, the, both halves. If you have the juicer here, you're going to do two squeezes of uh, each. So one line, which is about oh, three quarters of an ounce. Okay. I'm actually pouring it into a uh, water bottle because I don't have a shaker, but it works. That's listen. You you're at home. You work with what you got. Completely okay. Right. So and, you know, if you guys are at home and don't have a shaker, just use a jumbo water bottle because that's what I'm using. So when I when when DJ Trey came on the show, she used a Tupperware to make her uh, uh, to make her simple syrup, which was very oh, very. Oh yeah, there you go. Love cool. that. That's actually not a bad idea. It's, I, I should I be mixing you, this in a Tupperware. Work with what you have. If you don't, you know, you can go out and buy a whole ton of stuff. And if you do, make sure that you go to my Amazon black, blacksmith shop. But, um, there you go. 
But if you, where can they find that at? If you go Amazon onto the about, Black. the about me section of my uh, of my Twitch channel, has the link to the Amazon Blacksmith page, and that has everything that I use in my bar at home. Okay. Awesome. That's all right, I got a whole lime juice, a whole yes. lime basically worth right. of juice in here. Nice. Now, um, what did you guys get for simple syrup? I realized I didn't send you the simple syrup recipe. I got simple syrup. So I, yeah, yes. we just bought them. Perfect. Yeah. So you're going to do roses. Three, so three quarters of an ounce of simple. So almost, if you have a shot glass, almost all the way full, leave a little bit of room at the top. Um, if okay. you don't have a jigger, I'm using a jigger, so I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce. Okay. Got it. There you go. All right. Perfect. Then the blood orange. Now, a Paloma will tr traditionally use, um, grapefruit. We're using blood orange. So grab your blood I orange. I mine. I dropped mine. Hold on. <laughs> right, I got a we're good. Fruit, so I couldn't find We're blood. back. Yeah. And I All love right, so blood oranges. Am I, I'm going to so cut this one, right? You want to squeeze, and this is almost three quarters of an ounce, so get a little bit into the shot glass there. I'm going to use a – I have a reamer, so I'm just going to squeeze out some juice here if I can get any. Okay. Oh. Uh, I can just squeeze it into the to – the, can I squeeze it into the glass of tequila? Yes, uh, not into the glass of tequila. Don't put it into the tequila yet. Okay. I'll put it into another glass, just an empty glass. There you go. Having some technical difficulties here with my blood oranges. Oh, watch my eyes. That was close. I'm going to have to take a shower after this class. <laughs> All right. You want uh, the whole orange or... Yeah, you want to get three quarters of an ounce. So almost a full shot glass. Okay. So I'm going to do... I'm almost there. Okay, yeah, I think I think it might yeah. be almost blood a orange, whole final blood orange. There we go. Got a lot of blood orange I got to get one of those. Is that on your uh, Amazon blacksmith so page? I don't have a reamer on here. This actually, I just... I, I don't know how I've had this for so long. But it's super convenient. I will put it in my, my blacksmith shop, though, because I use it because I always say fresh juices are so much better than um, than using, like, uh, store-bought or anything. Like, a, lime, a regular lime juice tastes so much better. There's not as much sugar in it. And the cocktails just taste fresher. All right. So, so the uh, blood orange juice is going mm -hmm. straight into the, to the uh, mixer? Yep. And then now okay. we add the tequila back in. So if you have a strainer or something to get the red pepper flakes out, I, I always okay. recommend that. And if you don't, it's okay. But Yeah. Um, I am going to make a mess, but I'm going to try. Go for it. Nope. All right. They're all going in. Fuck it. It's okay. You know what? It'll add, add a little extra flavor to it. No worries. Actually, a lot of it stayed in the glass, so I think we're good. <laughs> good. Or, and you know what, if you ever run into a challenge where you don't have like a strainer, you can, you know, put your knife up to the tip of the glass and just pour it in. Um, there are a lot of ways to do it where you're, where you're just getting the tequila and you're not using the red peppers. So a lot okay. of different ways I, to do it. I thought about using like this other rocks glass to kind of hold it back, but it was, I, I knowing me, it would be all over my, myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So add some ice. Okay. How much are we talking with as far as ice? Uh, two or three cubes if you if you're shaking it up. If you have a shaker there, you okay. use a water bottle. So two yep. or three cubes. Okay. And then. All right. We're gonna shake it up. Richie, are you good down there? I'm I'm looking at a, yeah. I'm looking at Jimbo. Oh, Richie's got. Look at Richie. He's got like a fancy. Yeah. One too. He's he's, he's got, got like the there. actual. I like that, so I, I got a little stuff, so yeah. That's awesome. All right, so pro tip for when you're shaking, don't just do the one-handed fancy one. I always say do a circular motion yeah, because that mixes, the, that mixes the cocktail full. If you do it up and down, it's just going up and down. The circular motion, it, it mixes the entire cocktail. 
Oh, I, okay, I got it. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, if you have a rocks glass, I'm using a bigger rocks glass here. Got it. All right. And I went fancy for you guys, and I got some really nice ice. So if you're ever trying to do any like fun cocktails, you can go to a Chick-fil-A or a Sonic and they sell the pebbled ice and it's amazing. Really? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Sure. All right, so look at that. Okay. We got a little extra. Here we go. I'm using my my freezer ice. Yeah. No okay, Jim Griffin tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Make sure you follow the daily cocktail. He is a great guy. Yes. Jim, thank you so much for coming. If you hit me up, I'll I'll make some uh I'll definitely make some mocktail recipes for you. Okay. All right, got the All right. ice in. Ice is in. Now we're just gonna strain this over the cocktail. Over the glass. And I'm gonna show you mine in a second. Doing like a half-ass strain with a water bottle because the that. hole That's what is it looks like. Okay. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I see it. And then the topper. We have a topper. We've got a topper, folks. Where'd it go? There it is. So we have to have a little bit of grapefruit in the cocktail. So if you get some squirt, or you could use jarritos. Or you could use um, Fever Tree or Izzy. There are so many uh, um, different kinds of grapefruit sodas you can use. And we're just going to top, we're going to put some grapefruit soda on the top of this. There we go. Why does yours look more red than mine? Uh, it yeah, depends on, red, on how like ripe the blood orange is. Some are okay. lighter colored than well, we have, I have grapefruit, so mine's going to be bad. Yeah. No, th listen, there's no bad cocktail. Yeah. Well, there is. Yeah. Well, but, well, I've been to a few bars. Home, there really isn't a bad cocktail, to be quite honest. So, I so what, are we what are we cutting up now? So now I'm, you're going to garnish. So I'm cutting up the other blood orange that I had. Okay. And I'm cutting it you in half. Quarter it or? So half it and then take a slice. So you have like a nice blood orange slice. Okay. And we're just going to put that right in the cocktail. In the cocktail, over the side? I mean, how in do you do In the cocktail, like right on the side, just like that. In the cocktail. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yours is a go. lot. Uh, I'm going to put ourselves so that way we can see each other a little better. Yeah. So, there's mine. Mine's actually like... I don't know. Maybe they're not ripe here in the Chicago area or something. <laughs> if you're like up this, but like there you go. I'm more like I think this. But yeah. yeah, mine's Richie's color. Yeah. No worries. I you know what? I I grabbed blood orange. Maybe they just maybe there's some blood. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Cheers, you guys. This is um, cheers. There we go. Oh, that's mm. good. 